let's come back and see one more distinguishing test in your halo algae halo arenes so here they've given uh, uh, us distinguish between ethylene di ethylene ethylene chloride that is ethylene chloride is oh, here they've given us geminal halide okay let's see that so ethylene dichloride vicinal halide so what is the difference between geminal and vicinal so when i have to speak about geminal halide just see ethylene ethylene chloride right so write down ethylene 1 and 2 geminal means both the chlorine atoms are present on the same carbon so here this is ch3 this is ch so this is geminal halide gem halide or geminal so when i say vicinal vicinal halide so what happens one two both the chlorine the chlorine atoms are presented on either carbons here if the halogen is present on the same carbon then geminal if the chlorine or the halogen is present in two different carbon atoms adjacent then we call it as vicinal so let us write this is vicinal so ch2 ch2 because the valence around carbon should be four two three four that so i have to differentiate between them now see here so basically the test which we are going to perform is uh, aqueous koh test that is nothing but where we are going to show hydrolysis reaction hydrolysis removal of water i lyse the water molecule and take out just see here now when i have to take the first thing first test suppose i am going to take ch3 ch cl geminal halide on the same carbon plus i am going to take aqueous koh right suppose if i take two moles of this so this is your nucleophile this is your nucleophile and this is your nucleophile so what's going to happen you're going to get ch3 ch oh and oh done now what are we going to do we are going to hydrolyze water hydrolysis i said minus water molecule so h from here and oh from here is lost what do i get i get aldehyde now see here i'm going to get ch3 cho that here also the same thing ch3 your vicinal no, no i should write vicinal isn't it ch2 ch2 cl and cl now I'm going to add same aqueous KOH to this. If I add two moles of this, one chlorine from here, one chlorine from here is lost. So what compound do I get? I get CH2, CH2 and O and OH. Here both the chlorines are replaced. Here also both the chlorines are replaced. Now to this I'm going to take out water minus water molecule. So what do I get? H and OH. What do I get then? When I take out water molecule just like this, yes, I'm going to get CH2. Just see here. This is CH2. Done. I have see here, here CH2 OH alcohol. CH2 is here. CH2. Now uh, okay, let us write is it uh, CH2 OH wrong? CH2 is here, CH2 O is left. Okay, right. So can I write as CH OH? I can write, isn't it? Done. Now to this, what am I going to do? I'm going to introduce 2,4 DNP. Why? Because aldehyde's characteristic test, isn't it? 2,4 DNP. What is 2,4 DNP? Your benzene ring, right? Now, this is <coughs> your first carbon, second carbon. So you have nitro, third, fourth. 2,4 DNP, 2,4 DNP. So I have to write hydrazine group here. Hydrazine group is NH. Let me make this plus closer. Okay, NH and NH2. This is hydrazine. NH2, NH2 is hydrazine because I have replaced with one uh, this in hydrogen. I have written this is 2,4 DNP. 2,4. 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine is 2,4 DNP. Again, 2,4 DNP is 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine is 2,4 DNP. So, what do you do when here, when it is here, it's going to again eliminate water. That's why I have written hydrolysis reaction. Eliminate water molecule and join this two. What do you get? You get CH3 and your CH is here. Yeah. Now, you have to be careful. There is a double bond existing between oxygen and hydrogen isn't it here it is basically like this how ch3 your carbon hydrogen and oxygen so instead of that because there's lack of place I've written like this so ch double bond yeah this nitrogen is still there yeah let us write that nitrogen and you again have hydrogen n and the remaining to 4 dnp so remaining is still existing there no2 and no2 now what is the color of ppt here here the color of ppt is yellow ppt done so yellow ppt we very well know to 4 dnp 
orange to yellow you get so the characteristic test but when you take this alcohol and add 24 dnp you will not get any reaction no reaction observed so this is the distinguishing test first i treated with aqueous koh then i've got this then after that i got an aldehyde 24 dnp i got an yellow ppt but when i did vesinal halide when two uh, oh minus were formed oh were replaced and when i treated with 24 dnp this being an alcohol it will not respond to 24 dnp so yellow ppt formation distinguishing this distinguishes gem halide from vesinal halide